Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back for more Gracious Grass matches. And we are continuing with round one with four more matches for you to look forward to here. As at first we will see the Iguanodon taking on Super Old Rhinus, Karanosaurus taking on Ulura Titan, Paris going up against Anata Titan, and Aranosaurus taking on Mutaburosaurus. Should be some interesting matches here. So let's get on with the first one. Alrighty then, in the red corner we have the Iguanodon. Actually, funny enough about funny fun fact about this Iguanodon, it has one of the most powerful crits out of all the grass dinosaurs. But its unfortunate its crit is unfortunately scissors. So that means you can't really use Toot the Toon Crush or Gre or Super Impact on it, which sucks. But I suppose that crit will still do a crap ton of damage. In the, in the blue corner, we have a Super Ulti Rhinus. We saw its normal counterpart advance in the tournament last time out, but can the Super Ulti Rhinus make it there too? Uh, none of the Super Dinos have actually made it so far. Uh, we'll see one get through because I believe Super Parasaurolophus is playing Super Carithosaurus, so, well, one of them's definitely going through. And yep, just for, just for those that don't know, the Awaken mode will be activated as soon as Ulti Rhinus' HP is below half. Oh, another tie. Gotta get my wits about me yet. Oh wow, another tie! Oh, the Ulti Rhinus finally breaking the tie duck with a crit! But the Emerald Garden has been triggered. Can the Iguanodon strike back? The answer to that is no. The Ulti Rhinus gets off the hit, finishing off the Iguanodon and taking a 1 0 lead. Um, that was quite a. Mm, that wasn't really a thrilling match because, you know, it's a lot of ties there. But let's hope round two between these two will be a little bit more intense. Alrighty then, round two between these two, and hopefully we'll see a little bit more of what these guys can do. Because there are too many ties here, and they don't have green impulse or any tie base, so it wasn't that thrilling. But hopefully, we'll get a bit of a better match up here. Oh, and what a start for the Iguanodon! Hitting the Ulti Rhinos with our big crest, doing a decent a chunk of damage there. But it didn't take Ulti Rhinos' health below half. So, you know, the Awaken Mode cannot be used yet. Oh, here we go, another tie. And now the Ulti Rhinus can use the Awaken Mode because it is below half health. Of course, we need one of these guys to get a hit first. Oh, come on, not another t bunch of ties. It's getting a bit ridiculous now. I mean, the Iguanodon will take it because enough ties will finish off that Ulti Rhinus. But the Ulti Rhinus does get the hit this time. Which means we are going to see the Awaken Mode. And the Emerald Garden has also been triggered, which means if the Aguandon gets the hit, it will finish off Ulti Rhinus. If the Ulti Rhinus gets the hit, then it will win. And a tie will probably not finish off the Aguanodon. Oh, the Aguanodon got the hit! Yeah, the Aguanodon didn't have a move in the anime, so I just had to devise a move set for him. And I went for a Helage move set. See how interesting that would be. But look at that, the Iguanodon, even in the score there, taking out the Super Ulti Rhinus and leaving it all down to this next round. And yeah, pretty good from the Iguanodon. Again, a lot of ties, you know, because when I actually use the tie based moveset, I never get ties. But anyway, that's enough about that. Let's move on to our final round between these two and see which one will progress. Alright, and the final round matchup between these two, and which one will prevail? Will it be the Iguanodon with all its healage moves, or will the Super Ulti Rhinus super slam the Iguanodon? Ooh, the Iguanodon went for an early crit, but the Ulti Rhinus said no. And here comes a power drain, so you know what that means? It's button spamming time. Oh, look at all that power dream. But the Emerald Garden has been triggered. Oh, 
Oh, however, the Octirhinus is saying no to that. And it's going to be another power drain. Button spamming! If it's if it inhales any hard, then the iguanodon will go in that will go down its gullet. And there's the Dromeo rush there, and an extra damage. Super Ulti Rhinus, well on top here. But this crit from the iguanodon can change that. Ooh, an Emerald Garden being triggered from Ulti Rhinus. Oh, poop, I clicked scissors. Okay, it was a tie anyway. Chance missed there from Ulti Rhinus. Oh, that's a tie. Ties favour the Ulti Rhinus now because it has more health. And, how ironic that a tie is used to finish off the Iguanodon and conclude this match. The Super Ulti Rhinus hanging on in there to defeat the Iguanodon. Um, well, it wasn't really a great match because of all the ties, but, you know, Ulti Rhinus, you know, it, it was kind of a meh matchup, to be honest. The the ties kind of not me made it a bit mediocre, but the Ulti Rhinus will take that as he will advance into the last 16. And we're going to find out who his opponent will be when the Karanosaurus takes on the Uluru Titan, which is our next matchup. Alrighty then, in the red corner we have the Karanosaurus. Uh, one of the more unknown grass dinosaurs here since it only had a single print in the Series 2 4th edition. But we will definitely see what it can do here, and it does have a not decent crit. But in the blue corner we cut a possible dark horse in this tournament, the Ulu Retain. The Ulura Titan, the very last grass dinosaur to be, to be released, and definitely a good one. The big downside though, that crit, that is the fact that it is Scissor's crit. Otherwise it'd be really, really good, but you know, no matter. We'll take what we can. We open with a tie. Um, I think one. I think Uluru Titan's Blunder type, so ties may favour it more. Oh no! Come on, come on, RNG! What is the matter with you? Why are we getting so many ties? It's ridiculous. Oh, tie recovery type. So ties do favour Uluru Titan more. At least it'll be kind of interesting, as I said. The, the Uluru Titan is tie recovery type, so as I said, ties will favour it more. And the atomic bomb there from the Uluru Titan. A good start from the Swan Titan. And that Titan's the duck one, and the Uluru Titan is the, is the Swan. There's that tie recovery effect again. Used by Eocarcaria as well. And this crit will take out Karanosaurus and give Uluru Titan a 1 0 lead. Uh, not surprising there, since oop, Karanosaurus, poor thing, didn't really get a hit, didn't really get going. But it will have a tap. It, it will have time to turn it around, and hopefully for its, its sake, it will even the score. When we move on to round two. Already then, round two here, and will the Karanosaurus even the score, or can the Uluru Titan take that two 0 win? which we'll see it through to the last 16 to take on the Super Ulti Rhinus. Okay, here we go. Number three. Ooh, the Karanosaurus will be getting a hit this time. And it's a Kamikaze Tackle. Yum, boosh. Could, could you imagine if dinosaurs actually did this? This would be so cool if they actually did this. I mean, it would make no logical sense, but you know. Dinosaur King makes no logical sense. So does it matter? Oh, another tie. Wow, we are getting so many ties today. There's that tie recovery effect from the Uru Titan. And here comes a crit. Big damage dealt to Karanosaurus, and the Uluru Titan has just retaken the lead. Oh, and that's Karanosaurus dead and buried. As I don't think it will survive this. Nope. The Uluru Titan dominating there, taking a 2-0 win. 
and looking mightily impressive and definitely living up to the hype of it being the Dark Horse. One of many Dark Horses, I should say. Uh, Karanosaurus didn't didn't really quite happen for it, unfor unfortunately. You know, a bit of a letdown, you know, disappointing. And yet another silver dinosaur seems to bite the dust. Only the Ulti Rhinus twins have made it so far. And actually, no, only the Ulti Rhinus twins will make it because all the other silver dinosaurs have fought. But anyway, that's enough about that. We will see the Super Ulti Rhinus taking on the Uluru Titan. That could be a good matchup there. But let's move on to our next matchup of this, of this video, which sees Aris taking on a Nata Titan. Dino Snash! I'm sure you all. I'm sure you, she needs no introduction here, but I'm going to do it anyway. In the red corner, we have a Paris, or in the, in the original, Bada -bada! Can Paris bring a surprise in this tournament? And yes, we have anime moves here of Nature's Blessing and Metal Wing. Originally, I was going to use Bigfoot Assault, but I thought, you know, it's not really, you know, it wasn't really used that much in comparison to Metal Wing and Nature's Blessing. But anyway, in the blue corner, we have the Anata Titan, the duck build Titan here, looking to take a gigantic step into the last 16. Um, I'd probably say, well, I, I will be doing a grass tier list for a while, but I'm probably going to say Anata Titan is definitely one of the best bronzes. Just a hint. But it is Paris who gets the opening hit. Not too much damage dealt though. I do believe this Paris is super counter type, so it does have really good synergy with a super impact. Ooh, the Anata Titan though, getting off that hit. And here comes the Strufio Rush. I, I always get the two mixed. I know which one is Galley Rush, because it's red. But the Strufio Rush and Dromeo Rush, I never I never seem to get them right. <laughs> but the Anata Titan taking an early lead. Ooh, that's a tie. If that had been a crit, I think that a Nat Titan would have been in trouble. And there's that move breaker there. Another fine Paris's move. Although Paris does get off a crit, it won't do as much damage as it would have done had that been Metal Wing and had it happened last time out with our super counter type effect. However, Paris will not be needing Metal Wing. Another crit coming in to finish off the Anatta Titan and take a 1-0 lead. Uh, pretty good from Paris. Can Paris break the losing duck of the other anime dinos? Which seem to have faltered quite a bit. Well, let's find out as we move on to round 2. Alrighty then, round 2 between these two. And well, on the topic of tournaments, I would like to address something. Uh, I think some people have brought up on the Discord and... I think that's the fact that there's quite a few taunt people hosting their own tournaments during re in recent times, and I feel like I should come out here and talk about it because uh, I have mentioned in one of my other tournament videos that I would be open to seeing other people host their own tournaments because obviously I can't do it all the time as it is quite a time-consuming thing to do. And a lot of people have definitely take, done that. I mean, I don't know if most of it is... I don't know if any of it is to do with the fact of what I've said, but... Um, I feel like there should be a break between tournaments. I think it gets a bit repetitive if people keep doing it over and over and over. What makes my tournaments work well, in my opinion, is that I don't do it all the time. You know, hell, I make it a yearly thing if I have my way. Just, just something I think about. Oh, okay, that's alright. <laughs> I failed to click the sign, but it doesn't matter. Oh, that's a tie. Paris on top here. And Paris getting a win. The Anatta Titan not really looking good there. Oh, that's, a kind, that's kind of a shame. So I thought Anatta Titan would do well, but I suppose one of them at the fall here. Can Paris go far in this tournament, unlike her anime dino counterparts? But in very impressive she did there, an iconic finishing move of Nettlewick. 
Well, that was disappointing for the United Titan, but well played to Paris. Right, time for our final match of this session, which sees uh, the Uranosaurus taking on Mutaburosaurus. Alrighty then, in the red corner we have the Uranosaurus. The Valiant Lizard itself. Can it go far in this tournament? We'll just have to see. Sigoi, come to know that. In the blue corner, however, we have a Mutaburosaurus. Both of these dinos probably evenly matched, to be honest. So it could be in for quite a close match here, the winner of which will go on to face Paris in the last 16. Get, get my wits about me? Wait, uh, wait why, why are you not generating? Oh, oh, hold on, give me a sec. Alright, we got it back up. Okay, so rock and a paper. So the Mutaburosaurus will be starting with the first hit. Choo! There's that critical block as well. A good start from Mutaburosaurus. And that also means that Mutaburosaurus will be going for its crit. Ooh, and we'll be getting the crit. The Aranosaurus not looking good so far as a Venom Fang comes in. What's this guy doing in the tournament? He's not supposed to be here. But the Oranosaurus is getting the poison. And a strong start from Mutaburosaurus so far. But the Oranosaurus does respond with its crit. A crit, I should mention, which is quite a powerful one. Okay, that's a tie. Ties suit the Oranosaurus more, as it is blunder type, and it does have that tie attack. But a tie now will win it for Mutaburosaurus. And a tie is what we are having. So despite the ties favouring the Oranosaurus, the Mutaburosaurus does indeed finish it off and takes a 1-0 lead. Alright, on the round two. Okay, round two between these two little grass dinosaurs. Can the Mutaburosaurus finish this match off? Or can the Aranosaurus pull it back? Um, well, I don't know. I, well, as I said, it's an even match, so I don't know what to expect here. But the Aranosaurus does get off the opening hit, and it's a critical one, which means big damage was dealt to the Aranosaurus, to the Mutaburosaurus. Okay, that's another hit. Tyrannosaurus looking mightily strong there. And it could almost even instantly even the score. Ooh, but the Mataburosaurus is getting off that critical block and getting off a super impact. Could this be the turning point? Boosh! Oh, look at that damage. Critical block coming in there. And I'd probably say one hit from the Mutaburosaurus will win it. Well, win it hit the match. Oh, and, and that hit is a crit. So that lethal hit will be coming up now. Well, I suspect it will. Maybe the Aranosaurus will survive on a tiny sliver of health? Nope, the, the Aranosaurus biting the dust. The Mutaburosaurus taking a 2 0 win. And advance into the last 16, where, he, where they will play Paris, which could be an interesting match. Okay, we'll have a look at the um, bracket things, and then we'll end the session. Um, okay, so we have the Super Ulti Rhinus taking on the um, Ulura Titan in this matchup. Both of these two looked quite good in their matches. And then we have Paris going up against Mutaburosaurus. I'd say, despite an impressive win from the Mutt, a favourable match for Paris in my opinion. Could Paris be the first anime dinosaur to do well in a tournament? Because Ace certainly didn't. Uh, Terry did okay. Spiny kind of did okay as well. But yeah, that's going to end this session here. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. And if you're new on subscribe, you're welcome to do so. And this is Gamer signing out. <laughs>